give you a quick update on the Camaro. Uh, going okay, I would say. Um, the only thing I'm having some issues with, and I'll show you, I don't know how good of a, I'm gonna be able to show how this is working. I got everything together, and I'm having trouble with the clutch. You hear that? It just sounds horrible. So I'm gonna have to take that apart and see what the heck is going on with it. But uh, in case you haven't seen it, hopefully the video comes out pretty good, but it's all stripped out. We're going for weight reduction with it. Most of it will go back, but a lot of it we just stripped out to, to take the dashboard out. So all of that I pulled out when I welded the firewall to take out the heating and air conditioning. But right now, I was able to get the brakes bled. That's why it doesn't have any wheels or tires on it. And I got the shifter in the car. I got the drive shaft in. Um, I had this uh, temperature gauge in here, but it was leaking right out of that port, so I had to put one of these in. Didn't realize that until I, after I fired it up, so I had to deal with that. Got the alternator belt back on, and got that tightened properly, and just got some of the wires out of the way. So they don't touch the headers, even though that one is touching the headers. But other than that, it was a little bit slow of a day. Um, didn't really feel like working much after I found out about the clutch issue with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to take the transmission back out, but wouldn't surprise me though. But I ended up uh, washing my car today, so probably haven't washed it in a couple of months and driven it several times in the rain, but just washed Corvette up. Makes me feel good to get it clean as I've been driving it around and haven't felt real good about driving it while it's dirty. But I also got another neat thing that for my Hummer that I would like to install and put in for the channel. Let's see, it's a Trucks uh, leveling kit. 405012 Hummer H2 leveling kit. And it comes with two torsion keys. I think it lifts the front end. It says it lifts it up three inches, but we'll see. Uh, the shock bracket relocation kit and the rear spring spacer. So that's just the instructions for it. There's, these are the actual parts for it. So I'll do a video on it, just see how it goes on, but that's the spring brackets. Let's see. That's the torsion keys for it. So that lifts the front three inches, it says. And these are the rear spring spacers, which lifts the back end an inch and a half. And that's supposed to be able to lift it um, just so you can get 37 inch tires on it. Um, I think it'll fit 37 inch tires on it without that leveling kit, but the front, the front end sits a little lower than the back. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to lift it up just a little bit. The kit's pretty inexpensive. I think it cost me $160 for the kit and I'll lift it up just a little bit and then put a little bit bigger tires on it. But just thought I'd give a quick update. Um, it's Sunday right now, so going back to work this week, so hopefully be able to do a little bit next weekend. I'm going out of town, and uh, so hopefully I can fi finish out to figure out that clutch issue, put the tires back on, and then from there, the only thing else I have is to put the power steering pump on it, which is right here. And these are several of the factory brackets, but I'm already on Summit. I gotta go back, I gotta go back in line. On go back inside and order them online um, an aftermarket set because I'm not going to run the AC back on this car and that should fit nice and neat right there without having to cut up the brackets the alternator one fits really good and from there that's about it so hopefully I can get that done this week and get it going pull it out and I should be able to drive it clean up some of this mess and go from there but I want to give you guys an update on it Definitely keep tuned to the channel because I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to start the YouTube channel and do more stuff with my Camaro. I am uh, very interested in doing stuff with my Corvette and uh, also with the Hummer and uh, who else knows what else. Um, just to throw it right in there. But make sure to subscribe so you guys can catch in on all the different things. I know that's what I do with a lot of the other channels because I'm uh, pretty entertained by what I see on there. But there's Sonny. You see him every once in a while. He comes out here with me. But uh, he likes coming out here, hanging out. Just as long as I keep the garage door closed, though. 
But if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. I'd love to answer anything that you guys have. Um, again, subscribe and like the channel. If you like the video, like it. If not, don't worry about it. But I would suggest uh, subscribing just because I uh, do plan on having a lot more on it. And if it's not something you're interested in, you could always unsubscribe then. Though. But uh, look forward to you on the next one. Have a good one.